cold front, warm front, occluded front, stationary front, so many fronts. Why do we call them fronts? I'm meteorologist Jason Myers, and for the answer, we need to travel all the way back to World War I. This is about the time we were making significant strides in meteorology. And the fact that a war was going on matters here. Until this point, we just thought air was stagnant. It sat in one place, and it either warmed up or it cooled down a little bit from day to day. It was Norwegian meteorologist Jacob Bjerknes who discovered there were different air masses all around the world, and these air masses were constantly moving and changing. He also noticed the unsettled weather that occurred on the edges of these air masses. He needed a name for these boundaries, and since there was a war going on all over Europe, he decided to call them fronts, akin to the fighting along the battle lines. Though it was the First World War when these fronts got their name, it wasn't until the Second World War when we started drawing them on weather maps. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and comment below.